before you get mm. to like because that thing that happened is could hurt you in a minute. Step back. Stand back. I see this baby sitting kind of sideways, kind of cockeyed in a way. And you've been feeling a little uncomfortness only because the baby's sitting in an unformed position, not in a position the baby shouldn't even be in. But God wants to turn the baby so that you and the baby can come out Amen. safe. Amen. Mm. That's right. Lift up your hands, Cameron. You still sing. Ah, see, that's what happened when we stopped doing what God called us to do. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. But he said you will sing. Your gift is not left for you. You left the gift. But it's right there in front of you. All you got to do is open your mouth and the song will come out. The song will come out. It wants to come out. You want to let it out. But you think because of your position that you can't. Yes. But God said, I'm merciful. Mm. And I love you so much you. that I'm willing to take care of you in no other way but to do exactly what needs to be done. The baby's sitting like this. Come on. The feet are over here. The baby's hand is pushing right here. And God's going to turn the baby all the way around. And it's going to take days, but the baby's going to come around until it actually forms the right position. Thank you, Lord. But he's, oh, while well, he's turning the baby, right. he's come turning on. things in your life. Come on. Come on. Nah, that shot. I see cool. change happening. Yes. While the baby is turning, change is taking place inside your heart. Come on. He's turning the baby, and he said, I'm doing a new thing in Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I see a Boaz. Ha! Ah. Oh my God. Freedom. <laughs> and in Boaz, you ain't got a want for nothing. <laughs> I see this man standing before you. And at the same time, the baby is turning, so is he. I see him turning. He's kind of confused because he don't really know what's taking place. But you pray and ask God to do it. And God's going to do it because you asked. And he said he's going to heal your heart of all that stuff that was sitting way, way back. That came from childhood all the way up. And even in your teenage years that you was going through. He said he's going to heal that heart. He said because you're going to need to be healed to raise this prophet. That's a prophet you carry. Well. <laughs> and if you don't get it together. We will lose this prophet. But he has called this prophet to the nations of the world. And, uh, excuse me, Mary, in order for you to birth out Jesus, you're going to have to do this one thing. Okay? My this God. is what you're going to have to do. Come on. Come on. Obey God. Yes. You're going to have to obey God. And when he tells you to move, move. Because, see, Mary seen something in Jesus before Jesus seen it. Mothers know their children. Come on. You keep putting your hands on this baby. God is literally shifting the baby. And while the baby is being shifted, the baby's prophesying to your body. And your body will be healed. You will come out of this. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. That baby, when this baby hit the ground to the earth, it's going to come out prophesying. You won't call it a crop. It's going to be the word of God. I promise you. Listen close. I'm telling you. When that baby enters the world, it's going to prophesy to your soul. <coughs> and it's going to change everything you ever know. Yes. Come on. You are healed. Thank you, Lord God. Take up that bed and walk, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. All the things that doctor said is wrong is not wrong. That's the enemy lying to you, tripping you up in your mind, putting fear in you where fear does not belong. Come on. 
We cast out the spirit of fear in you. That's it. We lose peace in your mind. We decree a sound mind in you. And the love of God to enter your heart. You can do this. <coughs> it's going to be a piece of cake for you and you ain't even going to realize it. Amen. You're going to be like, this is the easiest part. I thought, I, mean, I thought it was supposed to be hard. Everybody told me it was hard. It's going to be easy. Because the whole time that baby's inside of you speaking the word of God. Come on. And it's changing your life. And it's already happening. You see it. You know it. You know this is a change. But you ain't said nothing to nobody. You were hoping they could just see it without you opening your mouth. <laughs> but the love of God that's going to enter in you today, my sister, will change everything that you've ever known. Thank you, Lord. Father, heal her heart right now. Of all the hurt and the pain, all the anguish she's gone through, all this anguish, all this anger. Oh my God. Oh, that will shine out. I will see. All this anger. All this anger. Oh, God said, what is wrong? Why are you so angry? Thank you, Lord. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Right there. He said, that's what's been holding you back all this time is the anger. He said, but this day, you are a new woman in him. When Jesus spoke to the storm, he said, Peace! Be still. That's it. I'm speaking to your storm. Peace! Be still. And when you get home, before you open the door, speak to that storm. Peace! Be still. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh God. Thank you. Thank you. I used to think that I was the only one that had that kind of rage going on inside of me, so <laughs> mad at the world. Well, but there's so many people that's been so deeply hurt yeah. that that rage is just built up on the inside and it came from birth. <laughs> Because our parents was in sin, right. and then when our parents is in sin, it brings us into the world, and we end up in the sin our parents are in. And we get angry because we felt like our parents didn't do what they were supposed to do. Come on. But this day, you shall live and not die. And you shall declare the words of the Lord. This is a new day for you, Cameron. Get back to singing. It's time, because when y'all move into this new place, they're going to need that voice. They're going to need that voice. And when you belt out these, baby, that's going to be a new song. She ain't going to sing like she used to. This is going to be a power. It's going to come out you so great. Oh, girl, I just hope I'm around to see you. Mm. God bless you. Thank you, Lord God. Best birthday today. Amen. I ask God to bless today. Amen. Amen. I got a good birthday today. Soul for being blessed and living set free. So I got good presents today. Amen. 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 I have a good birthday today. Well, I asked for it. He gave it to me. And I thank God. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my son. I, I just praise God for that. Amen. Amen. I mean, hallelujah. We're going to get ready now to take up the tithe and the offering. Amen. Then we're going to get ready to break bread. Amen. So don't run off, everybody. I'm so glad to have y'all today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I didn't have to do them. Just stand there and hold the oil. Pastor, before you do that, I, I, I'm sorry. I have to obey God. We're going to pray for you. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray for you. Amen. God wants to anoint you. Amen. Come on. To where he's about to take you. Come stand right here. Amen. 
journey in the places you've never seen before. Yes. He said, I can see you getting off the plane and saying, ho! Top, 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 top! <laughs> Blessing the ground. I see you doing it. And you're going to be like, Lord, I thank you that I got to live to see this new thing. I've never been here. I see you going to Africa. You're on your way. So we are, we're going to anoint you and then Sister Ebony is going to give you the word that God has put in her to give you. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm on my way down there. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, healing in your hands. Yes. Ah, short of ocean. There is healing in your hands. Woo! Go up. God, I thank you, Lord God. How that God that did the DIC. I also pop life. Pop, pop, mm, hot, shot, pop. Hold it, the DIC. Life is life is more abundant. Jesus. healing will come from. You don't even have to lay your hands. Just walking on that ground where they at, you will bring change. God is blessing you today on your birthday for moving your stuff out the way to give him praise and to let others in 
to let most of others in, but you didn't know what a loving and kind heart, a good, strong heart. He is blessing you today. The change that is coming is going to be a big You will not have much struggles and worries. Yeah, there are going to be people that may come up against it. Yes, this is. Know who you have around you. Go on the path I laid out for you. I have spoken to you in the night. I have given you vision and wisdom to reach my people. Even as you progress in pain, it doesn't matter. <coughs> You'll still have the effectiveness that you need. Yes. yes. It's not gonna, it's not gonna dwindle, it's not gonna go away. It's actually gonna get stronger. Yes. It's, there's gonna be more, more coming into you, more vision, more. Oh, he, he shows you so much, he talks to you so much in the week hours when no one's around. And he gives you things. He gives you the secrets, the desires of his heart. Because your desire is his desire. You could. Oh, you can we move her chair out because we need to walk around. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the restoration, Lord God. Mm. Thank you, Lord God. 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 Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. We give you praise, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We honor you, Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Be careful. Be mm. careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't let everyone in your ear. Amen. Some are not for you. And they will try to hinder yes. what God is doing. Because yes. yes. they seek to destroy you. Mm. Mm. Come on. Mm. But God has his hand around you. Mm. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yes. Yes. You shall go forth yes. and decree God's word. Yes. Nothing shall stop you. I come against every witch, every warlock right now. Come on. 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 It's made straight. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the angels that you would camp around her, Lord. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Every, ooh, every word that was not of you, Lord God, we call it down. We call it back to the pits of hell where it came from. Hallelujah. Every foul work they lay a trap for you. Yes. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jealousy. I come against you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jealous over gifts or what people have. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What God has for you is for you. Amen. And no one can take that from you. Thank Jesus. you. Thank you, Jesus. Go forth in love and peace. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
go forth as the woman of God that I call you. Thank you, Jesus. He will have no worries, no struggles. Thank you. Everything will be at ease. It would not take a struggle to go from nation to place to wherever you go. It's not going to be a struggle. It should be just as easy. It's not going to be a struggle for you. And when the enemy thinks he got you, God got something for him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord just show us walking around her, praying. Thank you. As we walk, thank you, Jesus. As we walk, Things that are not about you. Things that try to block us in. Yeah, it's so good to try to so fall down. Thank you. Change is here. It's yes. not coming. It's here. Yes. It's already done. Yes. Woo! Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
Yeah. Cause these sons and daughters gonna be able to plant seeds, but even where you go, they're gonna be able to plant seeds. Right. 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 may go without a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But you're a woman of faith, and you already Jesus. been there, coming from Alabama. Right, right, right. Okay. Amen. 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 As we represent the five-fold ministry, God gave me something years ago about the five-fold ministry. And you know how you have a wheel on a car and you got the lug nuts to hold them in? You're going to have these people in place. God is going to send you qualified people. Amen. 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 Because God is calling for a time that um, if mediocre people is not going to get higher ranked people up where they need to be. Because you need uh, people that are not mediocre around you because you're going to be going places. You're going to need someone to be in, in your camp, holding your camp down. Yeah. Right. And well equipped to do what you want. And they can take your vision and run with your vision and not go astray from your vision. Amen. But God is going to, while I'm standing back there, he said, speak to your health. Wow. Are you on any medication right now? Mm -hmm. You're going to come off of that yeah. medication. Amen. Amen. Just like I didn't came off of all my medications, I'm on two high blood pressure oh. pills, okay? Oh. I was on four pills every day to make my stomach open and close to let my food move from my stomach to my intestines. Mm -hmm. They was going to give me a colostomy bag, mm -hmm. okay? Come on. I'm 50 years old. They was ready to break me down. Oh, then I was on antidepressants as well. Come on. But let me tell you, it's a faith walk in your health. You got to let your faith override everything that the doctor has called you and told you that you was. Mm -hmm. God is going to give you perfect health, but you're going to have to change some things. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change the way you eat. Come on. You're going to have to exercise a little bit more because this journey that you're getting ready to go on is Come a on. God thing. And God has got to have your body in perfect will and it's perfect operations. Mm -hmm. So he's ready for you to step. It's all about you on this yeah. health thing. Yeah. It's all about you. God's going to tell you when to not go back and get them pills and yeah. not go to the farms. And he's going to tell you yeah. because it's going to be right when it's time for you to get on that plane and go where you need to go. Amen. God wants you to be, he, he's speaking to you in health. And as the five-fold ministry that we're representing, he's going to put them people in your church. Yeah. And you're going to know who that. It's going to be some people going to be upset. <laughs> but that's okay, honey. Amen. They're gonna get delivered. Don't worry upset. about it. <laughs> they gonna get to. It's all about being delivered and living for God. But that's what God is saying for you right now. He He's speaking to me about your health. Amen. You gonna have to do something. You gonna have to exercise. You gonna have to drink plenty of water. You. I'm telling you what. What I did. I became a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And I'm only that for like uh, so many months, but I'm just letting you know. Because see, when you become a vegetarian, that's God's nutrients going into your body, killing the things that are wrong with you. And that's what he did with me. Not saying for you to do that, but God is going to tell you. He probably already told you that you need to stop the one, which you need to stop you. But he's going to take care of you. Okay? That's what God is saying to me about you and your ministry. Okay. Uh, when I was standing there and she was talking, I heard transformation. And then I heard, uh, when I was standing here, I heard stretching. There's a lot of people that's in this building right now that ain't going to understand the stretching, but God is going to prove himself through the stretching. Yeah, they, they, he ain't just stretching you, he's stretching him. Because yeah. when God stretched the head, he stretched with, with whatever's on the head, trickles down. So he's stretching everybody here. Ain't nobody, you will no longer carry no more babies. Amen. If they ain't going to mature, if they ain't going to grow, they ain't going to grow, they ain't going to visit you. Because God is sending you kingdom quality. Yes. Kingdom quality because you're an apostle. He, he got to send you kingdom quality. He can't just send you people. He's going to send you, just like Jesus had the 12 disciples, he's going to send you people that ain't broke. He's going to send you people. And if, if they are broke now, 
now, God is going to stretch them, stretch that pocket. The, the, I decree the prayer that the, the uh, J-Bands be upon them now in the name of Jesus. Yes. And, but I see, I see, I see God causing you to be a mother to many nations. Yes. That's why you have your name. That's why he gave you your name because he's, he's going he's gonna to do it so much and so fast. People ain't going to believe it. They're going to be like, 